Welcome to a short video of Smart Kin, an electronic mobility aid for persons with visual impairment. I'm Supriya Das and I'm a special educator from Suction Trust New Delhi and I'm associated with the Smart Kin project for the past few years. This device, the Smart Kin device has been jointly developed by IIT Delhi, Suction Trust and Phoenix Medical Systems. So now let's quickly learn about the basic features and uh, application of this device. So this device normally fits over a regular white cane and it enables a visually impaired person to detect obstacles from a safe distance of about 3 meters and helps him to avoid objects, walk collision free and navigate without coming in contact with people or objects. So why smart kin when, an, when a white kin is already there? So what happens is that a visually impaired person finds it difficult to detect the raised, above, raised objects like the banner, a hoarding or maybe the tree branches on road, the up the underside of vehicles like truck and this leads to a lot of injuries and banging and for that we have developed this device which helps in detection of these obstacles from a distance of about 3 meters and produces vibration on this device and that's how a person who's walking with this device gets to know and prevents from getting collided. Now let's learn about the basic operation of this device. So this is the grip of this device. And this is the sensor box which contains these two sensors which are responsible for detection. On the right side of the device is the power switch. So when you slide this, when you switch on this, so it produces some beeps. So this beeps tells you about the level of battery remaining in your device. So let's check the what is the battery level of our device. So it gave three beeps, that means the battery level is 75% and above, that means it is fully charged. If there are two beeps, that means the battery level is about 45 to 75%. And if there is just one beep, that means the battery level is below 45%. On the left hand side of the device is the mode switch. Now what is mode switch? So basically the device function in, functions in two modes. One is the longer range mode and the other one is the shorter range mode. What happens when you swiftly slide down this uh, mode switch to, uh, to downwards, it starts functioning in the longer range mode where the maximum range becomes 3 meter and when you slide it up, it starts functioning in the 2 meter range. So what happens if a person is walking in a very indoor environment, a close environment, so objects are kept at a very close distance and, and there you may not require a 3 meter mode range and that's how uh, depending upon your own convenience, you can set this mode either in shorter range mode or in the longer range mode. Below this mode switch is the power slot. So this device has an internally rechargeable battery fitted. So you can simply put the charger here in this slot and can charge the device. So if it's fully discharged, so you can, uh, this takes about 3 to 4 hours to get fully charged and you can use it for about uh, 8 to 10 hours continuously. So for instance, if a person who is visually impaired using this device and he uses it for 2 hours a day, so he can go on without charging this device for at least a week. Another feature is that different people have different holding style and for that we have another feature of this angle adjustment in the device. So you can set this sensor in 3 different angles depending upon your holding style. The purpose is that the sensor should be faced in a way that it gives you a knee to head high protection. So for example, if a person holds is extremely straight like this, parallel to his own body, then the sensor should be fitted on this position. It should not be, it should not be set in this position, otherwise center, the sensors will start pointing towards the downwards. In the same way, if a person holds the cane towards, uh, sliding towards the, towards downwards, then the sensor should be set in a way that it covers you or gives you a coverage of knee to head high. If, if we then set the sensor in the topmost angle, then it will start pointing towards the sky. So depending upon that, a user's holding style and height, a person can set this angle. Another feature is that the device has an ergonomic grip, which means it has been very thoughtfully designed, keeping in mind a person's gripping style and the hand span. It's a very lightweight device, so let me put it back, you can simply fold it and wrap it back with your cane. It's a very lightweight uh, device, in fact lighter than your white cane. And moreover, apart from being just light in weight and with these additional features, it's very easy to use. It's been very thoughtfully designed and extensive research has been done. More than 100 uh, users are using this device and that's how we have bought this device after this extensive research to you. 
we wish you all the very best have a safe journey we care for your safety and mobility thank you